All right, so we're going to go over the SEO book toolbar. So we installed this on Komodo browser, and we don't want to do any updates because it may stop the toolbar from working. So SEO book um, can be turned on and off with this. Turn off is as simple as that, and then if you want to turn it on, it back on. I recommend if you're going to browse with this browser, don't keep it on all the time. It does slow things down. Right now things may be super slow because I'm recording and using this toolbar. So just bear with me. So it does have options and settings and there's a lot of things you can adjust in here. Um, you can adjust the colors of the keyword highlights. You can adjust the colors of the keyword highlights inside of SEO X-Ray and also whether or not you want to show the alt attributes for each image. You can uh, adjust which Google. Um, I'm in America so Google.com is good for me but if you're in another country you may want to use a different Google. Also which Yahoo um, and whether you want to see Yahoo live or not. Um, user agents, so these, this would be where you can give these priority. Site information, what you want to track on there. Site compare, what you want to track when you compare sites. What does the text box do? You can either have it be a keyword suggestion where it would go to a free keyword tool by SEO book or um, keyword highlight on a page or search seobook.com. Um, and then the RSS reader, how many, how often you want it to cache. So this is actually showing the first thing is Google page cache. And then this shows OSE links from SEO Moz. This is also an SEO Moz. The first two are from SEO Moz and obviously zero zero on a brand new site, um, six weeks old tomorrow. So this Majestic um, is, let's see, you have to go back off and on again. So it's how many sites, how many pages are linking to the root domain. That says 56 million. I'm not really sure where that's coming from. Um, and when I click on it, it goes, oh, okay. So I've got, that's going to go right to Majestic and my time is up for using that. So it says fair usage limit reached. So I've been fooling around with keyword tools a lot. I probably have so many a month on that. So um, this shows how many linking domains to the website. And I do know that that's about right. Um, OSC links to the domain. That's another one by SEO Moz, that's the same as that, and I'm not really sure why it has to, but I think I can click on these and tell them to go away. Yeah, so if I don't want to have two of each, like some of these are, then I can just tell them, hey, get out of here, remove from the toolbar and you can add them back in. I'll show you where you can add them back in too. So this directory, this shows the four most authoritative directories on the web. DMOZ, Yahoo, um, this is, what does that stand for again? I can open it up and let you know. And then the business.com directory. Um, oh, I didn't want to open it up, I guess. Something on the web, business on the web, B-O-T-W, on the web, something on the web. Anyway, so um, if you list in those, it will tell you probably just a yes, because I think that's, um, but this is a good reminder to go list myself on those. This uh, right here, if you wanted to see your site on the Wayback Machine. The Wayback Machine just shows you years ago what could have been on the site. And my site was an aged domain when I bought it. 
So it was just a, somebody had a couple of folders in it. They really never had a website up. I checked all these and there was never a website on it. So I'm not sure how much advantage I'd, I'm getting because the website has been around since 2013. But um, some people think H domains do have a lot of credit. Some people don't. Um, I'm going to get back to the SEO toolbar here. So this SEM Rush. Um, that's a paid subscription. If I click on it, it will open up in another tab like a lot of these do. I'm going to try and keep some of these tabs closed down so we're not real slow. But it'll just flash for a second um, some of the information that's right at the top. And then it's going to tell me that I don't have a paid account. So I need to get the heck out of here till I pay and um, that's not something I'm gonna do right now so see there's the register and get 10 extra re so I, I could get 10 extra record re requests if I wanted to so back to the toolbar this is a list of a whole bunch of other things you can do so compete really not telling you a lot of information similar web can't really remember what that one was going to open it and go on to this is Google Trends um, which isn't going to give us a lot of information for this website since it's so new Quantcast was something I had never heard of before so I clicked on that and um, they have something that will track on your website so I put the um, the bar on my website and we'll see what happens with that. I really don't have any information on that quite yet. So this is some information from moz.com. Really not even sure when that opened up. Uh, this is the similar web so it does tell you this is my global rank, this is my country rank, this is my category rank. Not really even sure where it gets a category for my because I don't remember ever putting a category in here but Right now it's not seeing any traffic because we really don't have a lot of organic traffic, maybe one or two dribbling in, but on a brand new site you really wouldn't see a lot. So, um, Alexa, really cool, just uh, shows you your Alexa ranking, whatever site. I wish it showed it up here. Uh, I'm not sure if I can bring something like this and put it up here. But I guess not. So SEM Rush, same thing that we have here. Um, paid subscription. Stumble Upon is a really words weird social network that you pick things that you like and it randomly tells you what you should read next. Something I really don't get, but um, Pinterest, everybody knows what that is. You pin your pictures. And if I click on this, it'll just show me how many pins are up there that point back to free training work from home. So it just is telling you how many are associated with the website. And mixed rank is something that's not working right now. Who is? That's where you can find out who owns the website. This tab here is a quick tab to see view the source of this website. So it would view the HTML. Um, if I wanted to know the IP, uh, not really sure why that's not showing because most of the time it gives you an IP address there but I'm just gonna skip over that we could refresh the page and maybe it would show up um, some more information here that I haven't really looked into the PPC and the Google Ad Planner I'm not a big fan of Google Ads um, and I don't use PPC so this is the similar web thought that it opened up my quantum but it didn't, so we're going to go on. Um, so this will open up um, Rank Checker, which I also talk about in the blog that we're working on. I'm really not sure why. Oh, I think I must already have it open. Let me just go down here. Yep. So this is Rank Checker where you can put in your domain and your keywords and then check where they're ranking on Bing, Yahoo, and Google. It's another thing that I'm talking about in this blog that we're doing right now. Um, this is SEO X-Ray. 
So when I click on it, which I just did, it tells me in green all the internal links and in blue all the external links. And then it tells me the meta tags, title, meta, meta description, and meta keywords. How many external links, how many internal links for a total of how many links on the page. And it says here I can export the links. I haven't tried that yet. Uh, I'm not going to do it while we're hooked up here. So I'm just going to... Oh, I thought maybe you could close on... Nope, in order to close it, you got to click on this close. So you just drag that up and get to the bottom of it. This is another way that you can view the source. Not sure why anybody would need so many ways to view the source since you can also right click on any page and view source if you want. So this text box, this was the thing that I had three choices for it to either search for keywords or let's say I want to highlight every time I see website on this page. So every time it says website, it'll highlight it in yellow. Just if I wanted to count words, I guess. Easy way to do it. SEO book, that's uh, where I could search on SEO book, which they have a free keyword tool, which I rarely use anymore because I have a few really, really good ones that I like. So this is my RSS feeds. It's things that I have favorited um, and I can go in there quickly and, and get at those. Uh, if I wanted to highlight all the no follow links on a page, I could do it with that. And this is a really neat tool here so I can compare a couple of different websites. If I wanted to, oops, okay, if I wanted to put in my own website, and then click in this cell here, and let's put in, so you can either do it with the HTTPS in front of it or without it. It'll take it either way and it'll do a good search. So I've got two. You can do up to five. Um, and then you just press on Get Data. Hopefully that's still in the screen. At the bottom of the screen it says Get Data down here. And then it just quickly populates what's here. Um, and if you remember, there was a place to just tell it what you wanted to compare. So if you didn't want to see all of this, you didn't have to. Um, and yeah, it's just a way to compare two sites and see how you're doing in comparison to another site that you know. Let's say you know one site is getting 3,000 visitors a month and you're, you know, just starting to get traffic. You want to do, you want to do what they're doing. So you want to check it out. So if you wanted to customize this toolbar, and s let's say you think some of the things are useless, like this SEM rush, because I don't have a, a subscription, why would I want it in the toolbar? Especially because I can get to it, if I wanted to, I can get to it through this comp. So I could take that right out of there. Um, and if there was anything else that I wanted to get out of there, I could. If I wanted to, you know, put in Yahoo links, drag this and put it up here. Let's put it in with that one. Oh, it didn't like that. We'll put it at the end. There. So that is that. Um, Hope you enjoyed this and you got something out of it and let me know if you're using the SEO book toolbar. Thanks.